Good morning, class. Oh, you're already sitting down. Okay. Today, I will talk about this book that I... Oh, sorry about that. I think my... Stop. Oh. grabando? Hola, gente! Eso es mi canal. Vamos a hablar de un libro genial que... Stop. Stop. This is an English presentation. You should change the language, you know? Ah, sorry, man. Sorry, man. It's a prank, bro. It's a uh, prank, bro. Jesus Christ. Sorry about him. So... This is the book we are going to talk about. Thank you. All right. This book is quite an interesting book, if I do say so myself. Oh, what? What? Oh, oh okay. I think I got the book wrong. I think. Uh, so, <laughs> this is the book we're going to talk about. Uh, Jen Eyre by Charlotte Br Br Bronte. Br Bronte. I, I don't know those two dots. I don't... Do you know what these two dots mean? I don't know. They should stay in Germany. What the heck is this? You're completely right. The book was published in 1847. At first, the book was published with another name for the author, was Carabelle, a male name, just because in that period it wasn't that acceptable for women to publish books. This is an autobiographical novel. In the narrative fiction, Jane Eyre is the writer of her own story. For the characters, we have, at first, Jane Eyre, of course, then the Reed family, Rosser. We have the aunt, John, Georgiana and Bessie, the three cousins, and then the butlers. In the second part we have Mr. Brockerhurst, Mrs. Mary Temple and Ellen Burns, a classmate. In the first part we have Sir Edward Fairfax Rochester, the owner of Thornfield Hall. Then we have Alex Fairfax, then Adele Varan, and then Bertha Mason, who is watched by Grace Poole. Then we have Blanche Ingram. In the fourth path, we have John Eyre River and his sister, which are relative. The story starts off with Jane as a child. She's orphaned and she's been adopted by her uncle. But unfortunately, the uncle is the only person who loves her. And he's dead. So unfortunately, she's bullied every day by her family. Her own then decide to send her to a charity school for orphans. The school that Jane goes to has very strict rules and is owned by Mr. Brocklehurst. Each day spent in there is terrible. But fortunately, while in that school, she meets two nicer people. Miss Mary Temple, who is a very lovely person and the school's principal. And also Helen Burns, which is a classmate of hers and... Yeah, now that I think about it, and the book isn't actually burning, I don't know why, okay. But unfortunately, Miss Mary Temple gets married and leaves the school, and Helen Burns dies from tuberculosis. And guess what? She's alone again. Like me. Hello, darkness, my old friend. At the end, she's able to become a teacher and find a job as a private teacher for a child. The new job is at Thornfield Hall, where she meets three people. First, Mrs. Fairfax. Mrs. Fairfax is an old woman who takes care of the house. Second, Adele Varan. She's the little girl who Jane teaches to. And third, the mysterious Mr. Rochester. Who actually is the owner of the house she falls in love with. And... Edward Rochester falls in love with Jane Eyre, but he tries to marry also Blanche Ingram. Fortunate, fortunately, the wedding goes wrong and Jane also loved Edward, so they try to get married, but uh, Bertha Mason gets in the way, who is Edward's crazy first wife. So, Jane escapes and meets John I. River and his sisters. John asks her to go to India, but she replies no, so she gets back to Thornfield and gets married with Edward. That, there's a happy ending. Actually, I think we forgot one thing. While Jane was with John, Thornfield Hall burned down and Edward got hurt and partially blind. But it's still a happy ending. There you go. But how do we find this book? First, we find it a bit slow paced, just because uh, as almost all the literature of 18th century is full of description, so in 300 pages we can save more or less 50. But we enjoyed it because it framed perfectly how hard a person's life can get and it gave a perfect image of the society of that time. 
Okay, stop. <lacht>